Hi, it's James and Jamie here, the Spray Dudes, with another top tip on how to get the most out of your pre-M application. The problem with farmer sprayers is they're trying to go faster and faster and their booms are higher and higher in a bid to increase on-farm efficiency. We also have the problem of droplet size. Too small and we get lots of spray drift. To try and demonstrate the optimum droplet size, I'm going to chuck a bucket of balls at Jamie. Uh, I'm not sure that's entirely necessary. It's science, Jamie. It's science. This bucket of balls represents different droplet sizes and Jamie is the target. I'm going to show you how the different droplet sizes affect hitting the target. These ping pong balls represent the small droplets typically produced by flat fan nozzles. They can easily get carried away by wind or thermal updrafts, particularly when spraying bare soils. And if we look at our nozzle suitability meter, that's a big red stop for pre-em application. The tennis balls represent the consistent droplets typically produced by an 05 or 06 3D nozzle. They offer really good pre-em results in ideal spraying conditions, but could be a bit drifty if conditions deteriorate. They get a green in ideal spraying conditions, but an amber to be ready to change if it's not right. Footballs represent big coarse droplets from 90% drift reduction nozzles. They always hit the target soil surface and at a water volume of 200 litres a hectare, coverage is great and results for black grass control have been excellent. The spray dudes give these nozzles a great green for go. So, there we go. From our science experiment, we have learned that you need the optimum size droplet to hit your seed bed to maximise efficacy and minimise drift. For more advice on pre-emergent spraying, see more of our videos or go to our website www.syngenta.co.uk